Hello everyone, I'm Kayla and I'm still wearing the same shirt from my other tag video because I bulk film, what can I say? No regrets guys, no regrets. So today I have another tag video for you guys. I hope that's all right. I was actually tagged. I was tagged by the Perks of Books. Thank you so much for tagging me. It is the Bad Book Habits tag created by the lovely Nadia Reads. Check out her channel. She's awesome, guys. Basically, you have to just name five bad book habits that you have. And that's pretty simple, so I like it. I like it. The first one that I could think of is I tend to lend my books out and then never follow up on it. I'm sure my mom has about 20 of my books at her apartment and sometimes I go over to people's houses and I see my book lying on their shelf and I'm like, oh hey, haven't seen you in a while. I fancy meeting you here. Yeah, I'm a dork. I just tend to never follow up on it and I'm sure I have about 50 books at least out there floating around and I should really fix that, really fix that. The second one that I can think of is I am really messy with my books. My bookshelf is so unorganized. That's why you never saw it before yet. Don't worry, it's coming. But yeah, I'm so unorganized with my books. They're all over my room. They're all over my car. They're all over the city, obviously, since I just lend them out to people. Yeah, I'm a messy book person. I'm also a messy clothes person, but that's another story. Number three, when I'm reading a book, I tend to skim ahead for some reason. And until I get to a part that's exciting or blows me away or like, oh my God, that really just happened. So I go back and keep reading, but yeah, I skim ahead. Who does that? That's like spoiler city. I wish I didn't do it, but I just can't stop doing it. It's awful. Does anybody else do this? Does anybody else skim ahead and then go back? Please don't let me be the only one. <laughs> Number four, I spend spend way too much money on books. I know it. Everybody knows it. And now that I'm on booktube, I'm afraid that I'm gonna spend even more money on books. So I really, really have to try hard to keep it down. And I really don't borrow books from the library because I'd like to own books. My dream would be to have the Beauty and the Beast library. I mean, who wouldn't? But I just vision myself in like an apartment or a house filled with books when I get older. And I want that a lot. So that's why I buy books, but I wish I didn't spend that much money on them. And the last thing that I can think of, number five, if I'm at a bookstore and I'm reading a summary on the back of a book and I'm like, ooh, that sounds really good, and then I start to leaf through the pages and the font is big or the page count is small, this much spacing between lines, I tend to just put it back on the shelf and say, uh... I don't know about that. I don't know whether it's because I think that I'm just gonna get through it in like two hours and is it really worth the buy? I don't know what goes through my mind. I just tend to just think that way. Anything under like 300 pages, I'm just like, is it really worth it? My book habits are weird, but hey, if I order it from Amazon or on my Kindle, hell, I'll read it. So maybe I should just do that from now on. But yeah, I don't know. So those are my five bad habits and they're pretty bad. So I want to know what your bad habits are and I tag everyone and specifically I tag lip gloss and zombies, books, boys and such and e Lizzie books. So I want you three to do this tag. I will message them on YouTube and hopefully they do the tag. Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see more of you in the future. Bye bye. I don't know. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs>